Hello, I'm Bill Faulkner and welcome to the 2019 SMRT Safety Video Podcast for MR Safety Week. Now this series of videos is produced exclusively for the SMRT. This year's series of videos is going to address MR radio frequency coils, their use, and how they relate to safety. So let's get started. Once again, welcome. RF coils differ in both their function and design. With regard to function, some coils only transmit RF, while others only receive. Some coils may be configured to both transmit and receive radio frequencies. The design of the coils are that they are either linearly polarized or circularly polarized, also known as quadrature. Here's an example of a transmit-only coil from a 0.2 Tesla GE profile system. The coil has been removed from the magnet and is sitting on its side. Also shown are the receive-only coils that would be used with this type of system. Here are some examples of transmit and receive coils on the upper left from a GE system, on the upper right from a Siemens system, and in the lower middle you see an example of a transmit and receive knee coil, this again from a Siemens system. Here are some receive only coils from a cylindrical higher field uh, system. On the left, a GE head and neck coil. On the right, a Siemens head and neck coil. And in the middle, a receive only head coil. This one from a Siemens system. It can be difficult to tell if a coil is transmit and receive or receive only simply by looking at it. As you can see here, depending on the vendor, they can have very similar appearances. On the left is a receive only coil and on the right is a transmit and receive coil. For safety purposes, it is very important to ensure that the coils are appropriately and properly labeled so that everyone knows when they are using a receive only coil or when they're using a transmit and receive coil. Some devices have conditions of use that specify a certain type of coil. So that's why it is very important that they are very clearly labeled. Here's an example of an integrated body coil within the bore of a high field superconducting system. Now this coil can be used either as a transmit only coil or a transmit and receive coil. With today's technology of multi-channel coils, we rarely use the integrated body coil as a transmit and receive coil anymore. Mostly it's used simply to transmit. However, these coils can be used in either mode. When using a receive only coil in a cylindrical bore high field magnet, the integrated body coil is going to be used as the transmit coil. Now, when the body coil is energized, this receiver coil is detuned by the system software so that it doesn't have current induced in the coil during the RF transmission. It's very important to remember that you should never scan a receive only coil that is not physically connected to the magnet because if the coil is not connected, the system does not know the coil is there and therefore it won't be detuned during RF transmission. Uh, the least thing that could happen would be that you would damage or destroy the coil making it worthless. The worst thing that can happen would be that it would catch fire. So it is important to always scan with these coils plugged in or remove them from the magnet if you're not going to be using them. 
And that'll do it for this first video podcast in our MR Safety Week 2019 uh, safety podcast. Hope you found the information useful. Be sure you look for the next video in this series. So until next time, this is Bill Faulkner. Thank you again and take care.